Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back. Steven here from Food Chain Feeders. If you guys are new here, I'm gonna be giving away some of these Doobie Roaches once we reach 100 subscribers, absolutely free. So be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Today we're gonna be shipping out 6,000 small Doobie Roaches. So I have uh, 5,000 right here, and then I have a thousand of them in here. And um, yeah, so I just wanna uh, show you guys how I package them up and how I get them shipped out. Let's go take a look. Oh, and I forgot to mention, if you guys remember that I posted, I had um, the Super Warm Beetles up for sale. We're gonna be shipping these out today as well. Um, someone bought all of them. So we're gonna be shipping these out, some dubias. Let's go do it. All right, guys. So let me show you guys what we have here. Um, here are the Super Worm Beetles, all packaged up, ready to be shipped out. Um, and then uh, for this order here, we also have a thousand uh, small doobie roaches with 200 um, over count. Over here, we have 5,000 of them with 200 over count. And then, of course, we have some roach chow samples over here as well. And then, uh, yeah, so now we're going to be putting the dubias in here because these are already packaged up. And then as soon as we put the dubias in the bags, then uh, we're going to be putting them in the box. But let me show you guys how I put them in the bags. We're going to be using some rubber bands because it's, it's easier than zip ties. I like it. Let's do it. All right. Hope you guys can see from that angle there. We're going to go ahead and start off with this one here. So I'll move this one just for to the side for right now. And we're gonna focus on getting these, these doobies in this bag. All right, so remember guys, if you guys order doobie roaches for me, you guys will always get more than what you pay for. Just in case um, any of them pass away during shipping, which is highly unlikely, it's honestly very, very, uh, most of the times all my customers say, wow, there's not even any dead in here. All of them are alive sometimes. One or two might, you know, perish, but very, very unlikely. These dubias are very, very hardy. So never be afraid to uh, get dubias shipped out to you. And plus the way I ship is very, very safe. Um, I try to do my best um, and I take a lot of pride in the way I ship. I've had dubias shipped to me in some of the most craziest conditions you guys would never believe. But I really take a lot of time in shipping. Um, you know, it takes me a while uh, to get everything ready, but I really, really think it's the most important part because that way when you get your order for me, um, you won't have any dead dubias or just things are all over the place. Um, so, yeah. All right, we're gonna be go ahead and uh, putting the dubias in here. Hold on, let me fix the angle a little bit up so you guys can see. Okay, so the doobies are gonna go in the bag like this. Oh, and that's it. And now we gotta make sure we get all of them all the way down there. And then we're gonna pull this thing here. All right, now we're just gonna create a small little knot here in the top. So first we're gonna grab this cord here, Pull it around, 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 around. All right, we're gonna leave about a good inch. Grab our rubber bands, and I'm gonna start just going around. And I have lots of rubber bands, so I'll put a couple of them on there just in case. And then when you get your order for me, um, you will be, uh, you know, you won't have to be grabbing your scissors to get the zip ties off and then it'll be a struggle, all that kind of stuff. But uh, hopefully this way is a lot easier for you guys. Definitely a lot easier for me. But yeah. And that's it guys. Doobies are in here. Now let me go put this in the box. And, um, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna put them down like this so that way it gives them time for the so the dubias are all at the bottom right here. But in about 10 minutes, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a put it up like this or however I'm gonna be shipping them in the direction. That way the dubias have time to climb into the egg crates and get comfortable for the ride. Alright, and now we are going to be doing 
the 5,000. 5,200 to be exact. And uh, same process. Just have to be a little quicker this time because um, these move a little fast. Just like that. All right, so they're all at the bottom, but they're they're climbing into the into the egg crate right now, getting comfortable for the ride. Okay, now we're gonna do the same process: pinch here at the top, and then just create a uh, a uh, a not a knot, but just kind of go in circles here with the with this cloth. Um, stuff. Now we're going to grab our rubber bands and close it up. Put a couple of them on there. Just in case one snaps or something. And there it is, guys. I'm going to do the same thing for these. I'm going to just lay them down like this. So that way, um, they in about 10 minutes, that way they have time to climb onto the egg flats and uh, get comfy for the ride. Okay. Let's give it about 10 minutes, and then I'll come back and show you guys how I package up the box. All right, guys. So for this specific order here, um, now the number one rule when shipping stuff, um, remember this, is that you always want to um, kill off any empty space. So there's empty space here, 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 and I still haven't put the dubias, which the dubias are going to go on top, but you pretty much you want to kill off any empty space. That way when the box is in travel, nothing's being moved around. Everything is as when you close these uh, flaps here, everything. So everything being tight is very, very important. And the way that you kill off um, the empty space is you use something like this. So this is uh, pretty much, you know, packing paper, unprinted newspaper, or whatever. Um, you can buy this uh, Home Depot. You can buy this um, on a website um, called Uline. There's many different places. Um, and you just want to stuff the corners like, like that. Um, it should look like that, you know. You want to make sure that the the space is something's filling it so that way this won't move this way you know once it's here it won't move that way or over here so remember that guys if you ever have to ship dubias uh, make sure that you're killing off all of the empty space so that way you won't you won't have um you know any tragedies or anything like that all right let me go ahead and uh, do it to this box and i'm gonna show you guys the final result All right, guys, so as you can see, they are ready to go, all taped up. And uh, also, let me know if you guys enjoy watching these uh, shipping vlogs. If you guys uh, want to learn more about shipping or you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section down below, and uh, I'll be sure to get back to you. All right, so next stop is heading over to the post office and uh, getting that tracking info and all that good stuff.